Hello everyone, on this video I'm really happy to show you a brand new library for Halion, Halion Sonic and Halion Sonic SC, the Olympus Choir Micro, from our partners and good friends at Sound Iron. I'm going to take you through a short walkthrough of the interface and then I'm going to play a few sounds so that you can hear how expressive this sound library is. So let's get started. So first, let's take a quick look at the interface. The Olympus Choir Micro interface is actually very, very simple and straightforward. So you won't need to dig into manuals. So as you can see, we have two distinct layers. We have layer one, which is the male choir, and then we have layer two, which is the female choir. So just to give you an idea, let me disable layer two. And now you can see on the keyboard right here that we only have the male choir. And of course, I can start selecting the different articulations. So I have sustain Os, sustain Os, staccatos, and marcados. So let's take a listen to these. So first the Os, the Os, and let's try the staccatos now. Marcados. Now let's activate layer two and let's see how we can combine the two. So let's say I want to have staccatos on the male choirs and sustains on the female choirs. So it's very simple, you can create some really cool combinations like this. Now Olympus Choir gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to controlling the dynamics of your choir. So let's say I want to go to my male choir and add a an sustain. So as you can see right now I can control the dynamics using velocity. But of course you can even say I want to control the dynamics using the swell parameter right here. So let me show you. which is great if you want to play sustained notes that evolve. So by default, the swell parameter is assigned to CC72, but of course, if you want to assign it to your mod wheel, you can of course right click, learn CC, and then you can just move your mod wheel. Now another very cool thing that you can do with Olympus Choir is that you can blend between CC control and velocity when it comes to the dynamics. So for example, I can have this slider all the way to velocity. And now basically Olympus Choir completely disregards what I'm doing on the mod wheel. It only listens to my velocity playing. But if I go all the way to CC, now my velocity really does nothing. But now all the control is on my mod wheel. But the really interesting thing is I can blend between these two. So I can place it somewhere in the center. And now I have a combination of velocity control and CC control. And this gives you a lot of expression. Let me show you. For example, I can have the same chord played at this velocity. And you can tell that the mod wheel really affects the sound. It creates a nice swell, a nice little crescendo. But if I play hard, I can get a completely different arc, a completely different crescendo. And it sounds more aggressive, it sounds more epic. So this combination of CC and velocity gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to create expressive choir parts. Now, of course, we have some more controls. So for example, we have the pan control. So basically I can say that I want my male choir to be on the left and my female on the right. which is great if you want to spread your choir a little bit so they're not all in the center. And then of course we have the attack that basically makes the attack softer. Uh, uh, 
So if you want to create like a nice swell, a nice kind of pad-like sound, the attack will help you with that. Then of course we have the offset that changes the beginning of the sample. This is extremely useful if you want to have a little bit of a more pronounced staccato sound. For example, if I use the staccato samples here, and I change the offset, I get a kind of more staccato effect. I'm just chopping in the beginning of the sample. So it becomes a little bit more sharp. It's good, especially if you want to combine multiple choirs together, you can get a different flavor. Then we have the release and we also have the release volume. So let me show you what difference it makes. So basically by turning the release volume all the way down, I'm removing completely those release samples. And it sounds a little bit less natural, but sometimes in pop productions, you might want like a tape machine or like a Mellotron type of sound. So this will help you in these situations. Now let's move on to the center section right here. We have some really cool parameters there. So the first thing I wanna show you is the legato simulation. And I can turn it on by pressing right there. And now I have a simulated legato in these choirs. and I can blend it in. Now the time determines how fast the legato transition will be. So if you play fast passages, it's better to turn it down a little bit. But if you're playing like slower melodies, large arcs, then you can turn it up. It will sound more natural. So let me show you. Let's turn it down. So I get a more defined note transition. So depending on what you're going to play, the time control will help you get the best results. Now the next control is the vibrato control and this, by activating these buttons right here, you can activate the simulated vibrato control separately for layer one and layer two. And then we have the keys control where you can set the ranges between layer one and layer two. At the top, we have the blend control that allows us to blend between the two layers. So you activate it and you can go like this. And by right clicking, you can learn CC and basically assign this control to any CC controller. So now I can blend between the male and the female choirs very, very easily, like this. So now let me play a few of the sounds for you. The first sound we're going to play is called Gregorian. It's a very medieval kind of vibe. So let's play it. Now let's play a nice legato preset. Now let's try a Mercado patch. Now 
Now let's try the sustains. And as you can see, when you select one of the presets, you will see that we have quite a few controls right there. So we have control over the reverb mix, the reverb width, we have the reverb room size, we have the stereo enhanced width, we have the studio EQ. So we have quite a bit of tone shaping for the sound. So let's say I want to change the pre-lay of the reverb. <laughs> gives you a really nice echoey vibe. So let's play the sound. Now let me show you a more experimental preset. This is called Tape Filter Mod Wheel and it sounds like this. Now let's try a staccato patch. And this is the C sharp core pad. So there you go guys, that was the Olympus Choir micro library for Halion, Halion Sonic and Halion Sonic SE. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope you found it useful, have fun with the library and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>